I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE Proliant DL360 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE Proliant DL360 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so here's what we're gonna do in this video. It's gonna be a great overview on RAID as a whole for your Gen 11 server. We're gonna start with a compatible chart that's gonna be a nice comparison of uh, all the types of RAID that are compatible. I shouldn't say all, but a good starting point. I'm sure there's a few that you can throw in the comments down below if there's something else that we don't have on there. Then we're gonna go over the types of RAID, and really there's just two. There's OCP3 and PCIe, and we're gonna show you then how to install RAID. And what we're gonna install is your OCP3. And then at the end, we're gonna show you how to configure RAID 5. We're gonna do step-by-step -step instructions. So let's get into all the fun stuff. All right, so let's start by throwing up the compatible RAID chart. So if you look at the compatible RAID chart here, you're gonna see there's different types of RAID from uh, OCP to PCIe, there's going to be your different RAID levels, your cache, your drive speeds. It's basically just a good starting point to help you choose which is the right RAID for you. And as we mentioned on the types, there's going to be OCP3 and PCIe, and we're going to show you right now how to install OCP3, but before we do, I'm going to grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on, so we're safe to work on our machine. So I laid out our OCP card here and our cable that we're gonna need. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pop our latch just like any server we've ever been in before. And now we're gonna come to the back and we're gonna wanna remove our riser. So we're gonna essentially pop this right here. So just unscrew it. And once you do that, this whole thing will actually come up. But when you do, this piece is gonna be in the way. So we're gonna take this out real quick. And now we're just gonna simply lift our riser up. It's very, very easy. Uh, sometimes it does get uh, a little stuck in there as far as, uh, especially at the end, you have to push it down pretty hard sometimes to get it in there. Um, but that is how it will work. All right, so now we are gonna grab our OCP. And this is pretty simple install to be quite honest. So you see the two black plastic pieces right here. They're gonna have a groove in the middle. So what we're going to do is line up our green PCB with each one of those, and then it'll just slide in nice and perfect. So let's get everything lined up. And once you have it lined up, again, it'll just slide in really easy. And once you get it all the way in, I'm going to lift this up right here. So once we get it all the way in, I'll put this to the side for now. You can see right here we're going to need to give it a little push to get it connected in. And then you just want to make sure it's nice and flush in the back. So right there, mine wasn't fully in, so I pushed it a little bit more. And now I'm checking the back, and it's nice and flush with everything else. So it'll be even back here. And now it's fully in. So then we're just going to take our cable here, and nice and simple. We're just going to take it and put it in. It'll click into place. We're going to take our blue clip and put it back down. The other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to run our cable. So this will just pop in right here. Here. So for this port, you're just going to take it and you're going to run it around and then you're going to pop it in over here. All right, so let's go ahead and take this. I definitely recommend being very gentle with these because you can easily pop out one of these wires. So I'm being just very soft and getting in here and just doing it gingerly. So. All right, so that's connected nice and easy. We've got our cables running away where we're gonna be able to reinstall our riser and we're gonna be good to go. So now we're just gonna take our riser, line everything back up, make sure our cable doesn't get squashed down here. So we've got everything set back up. Now we do need to push, this is what I talked about sometimes, you do have to push a little bit hard to get your uh, riser to go fully in. Not terribly hard, but just make sure that all your connectors are in. So right there, it wasn't fully in. So now I've got it fully in, and it says press here. So now that we've got that in, we're just going to take our clip. We're just going to rotate this around. And we've got this back into place. So we'll put our last piece on, throw the lid on. 
And hey, we've done a, a nice easy install here today for our OCP3. Now next what we're gonna do is show you how to actually configure RAID 5. All right, today we're gonna show you how to set up RAID 5 on your HPE ProLiant Gen 11 server. The method that we're gonna use is going to access the systems utilities and we're gonna require a physical or software RAID in order to see the drives and configure them. This is a great method to configure RAID levels since according to HPE, the RAID cards cannot be configured on your SSA or your smart storage administrator. So what we're gonna do is a different method and show you exactly how to do it. The items that you're gonna need, your RAID card of course, which can be PCIe or OCP, your server of course, and at least three drives. RAID 5 can be created, but it has to have a minimum of three drives. This method works with both SR and MR RAID cards. So here's how we're gonna do it. First thing you're gonna do is install all your drives into your server, turn your server on. While the server initializes, press F9 to access the systems utilities. Take a little bit of time until the server finishes booting. On the systems utility page, click system configuration. On the system configuration page, click on the RAID card that you have installed. In this case, it would be the OCP slot 14 HPE MR 408i-0 for our Gen 11 server. On the RAID card page, please click on the main menu. This will give you access to a configuration page where you can configure RAID and the hard drive settings. On the main menu, please click on the logical drive management option to verify that there are no other logical drives in the system. Then go back, click on the configuration management, then click on create logical drive option. This will give you the ability to choose the unconfigured drives that you need to create RAID 5. In this case, we're gonna select all three drives and click OK. Then we'll check confirm and click yes. After confirming the drives, the system will send you to the Create Logical Drive page. In here, you'll be able to create your RAID level with the drives that you've selected. Go to Select RAID Level and choose RAID 5. Then scroll down to Select Drives option and press Enter. In here, you should be able to choose the unconfigured drives to create your RAID level. In this case, we will select all of them and click on Apply Changes and then OK. The system will send you back to the Create Logical Drives page and here scroll down to Save Configuration option and click Enter. Select Confirm and click on Yes. Congratulations, you've done it. You have created a RAID 5 on your ProLiant Gen 11 server. If you return to Logical Drive Management, you will be able to see your logical drive and check the drives associated with it. Hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built, new or used, HPE, Dell, Cisco, IBM, Supermicro, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care. Yeah.